All right. Yep. I'm like, I'm really obsessed with the thing that he's chopping. It looks like a potato. Guess what is that? It's your spell of gathering. You nuts? It does look like a potato. You're not strong enough. Cass, if you get hurt, <sighs> we'll find a better option. Look at him with his trench coat off, chopping that potato, and Sam's all concerned. I love how earnest and cute Sam he is. is. In this he's like whole so, episode. Oh, he he's is so adorable. He's so earnest, and he's all like, "Oh, Cass, use what's... my soul. Use my soul. It's worth the risk." That's right. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I did that. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was really fucking convincing. <laughs> that was me. You would think Lucifer would be a better liar. Seeing he's us. such a bat. I think he would be a better liar if he gave a shit. Yeah. He does not give a mm -hmm. shit. Oh. I trust you. He trusts Cass. <laughs> so cute. Except for the Cass did the stupidest fucking thing you could have possibly done and let Lucifer into his vessel. I know. Let me in your vessel, dude. Ugh, I love. Misha as Cass, as Lucifer as Cass, <laughs> speaking like Misha, because he's the moment when he goes from oh my god Lucifer back to Cass he's is a, amazing. It is pretty amazing. You're the girl who kept turning me down at the prom. Yeah, Lucifer, because you're mad into Sam. I would never turn him down. I would anything. never turn. I'd never. He'd turn be like, him. "Can I spit in your mouth?" And I'd be like, "Okay." <laughs> Uh, yeah, because you're so into Cass. So into or Misha, Cass. or whoever. Oh, oh, my God. oh my God. Look at that. Oh, that transformation is fucking hot. Morgan, are you dead right now? No, because Misha just posted on Twitter and I got a little notification. It's fine. Okay, I cannot with you. Oh, oh. oh no. No. First of all, he's in heaven because all he's ever wanted to do is be in Sam. He's all about inside of Sam. He is so he's all about being inside of Sam. Like, that's pretty much like his whole ending. That's the only thing he's ever wanted it's to do is be inside he's of ever Sam. Wanted. He's like, yes, I totally want to be inside you, Sam. In so many ways. Uh, I feel like I knocked this out of... Uh, I can't be bothered. And now he's feeling around inside of Sam, and he's like, I don't need you anymore. But I feel like he actually really does need Sam, because that's his true vessel. Like, even though he's in Cass, like, mm -hmm. Lucifer is an archangel, and Cass is just an angel. So, I don't really feel like he could hold Lucifer forever. Well, I think he probably, I mean, his, Cass as a vessel is stronger than the vessel he had before. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like maybe, because... Lucifer's other vessel was deteriorating, mm -hmm. but with two, with Cass in that vessel, he would probably just, like, backseat keep healing. You know what I mean? Like, healing the vessel? Oh, you think Lucifer heal. would be healing Cass? I think that Cass would be healing Jimmy Novak's vessel because it was, be it was breaking down because of Lucifer. Um, Maybe. Well, I don't think it's Jimmy Novak. Well, it was. It's not Jimmy Novak isn't in it anymore. He's in heaven after isn't Cass that got like Cass deteriorated. That's all now. Yeah. Because he's a what do you call it? A s Seraphim. Yeah, that's it. The yeah. S word. <laughs> that S -word. Well, because he was in in Jimmy was in that vessel up until Lucifer like exploded it. Yeah. And then he his soul went to heaven before God put that back together and now it's just Cass in there and now it's Cass and Lucifer in there I feel like God has to put you back together because I feel like you have fallen apart during this I episode. have completely fallen apart this is my favorite episode I've ever seen and like I think possibly ever uh you have fallen apart a lot tonight yeah was, a lot has happened for me <laughs> a lot has happened for you yeah. and I just want to say that Sam and his cute little earnestness has just been adorable. Yeah. He's all, no, Cass, let's say team. I can help you. I trust you. And it's all like, oh, Sam. Their good guy earnestness looks so a little sweet. bit silly when it's compared to Lucifer's, like, you know. Yeah. Satanicness. <laughs> I don't know, man. 
He's like, take me, take my soul. And it's like, Sam, why would, why do you think that would matter? When in any normal episode, it'd be like, oh my God, he's giving up his soul for his brother. But well, you know, he doesn't know it's Lucifer until now, till Lucifer's all like, let me get inside you, buddy. Like, he's so fucking into he Sam. He can so get inside me. He can get inside me too, buddy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into that. Um, point being, I love this clip. Because I am so loving that Cassifer is getting mad screen time this week. And I do have to just mention this, even though it's not in this clip, because I don't think we're doing any clips with my baby today. <laughs> Dean, his whole situation is mad good. <laughs> he looks so good today. Yeah, he is. He's so side he part. Looks, he is so side part, yeah. and he looks mad good. Yeah, That's all I'm going to say about that. He's not even in this clip. Point being, Misha's hands, amazing. Can't stop looking at them. I want them. Amazing. In places, and I'm not going to talk Truly about amazing. it. Truly amazing. I love his hands. What's the deal with that? I don't know. I love how we're paused on this one, like, image of this lady taking a picture of her cat. And it's <laughs> perfectly fine. For, like, three minutes. It doesn't matter. I'll change it later. All right. I guess I could do that. I don't care. How? I don't really care. All right. Okay. I'll do I think we I should want. sign off. We're fucking signing off. <laughs>